All right, so I'm making this video today to go over the questions that I had when I was deciding to purchase certain parts or products for this bike. Now I gave you the rev and the idle first, so if you guys read the title and you want to hear um, basically just what it sounds like and that's all you want, there you got it. Uh, other than that, here's my two cents on this whole thing. So there are four upgrades or modifications I did to this bike that are the performance-based ones. And that would be the Taiga exhaust, the full exhaust. That would be the k uh, filter, race filter, high flow filter, whatever, with the Chimera cold air intake. And then it has the DynoJet products in it, which are the Wideband 2 module and the Power Commander 5. Uh, and that little sensor that you saw in the, in the uh, header a second ago, that was the O2 sensor that belongs to the Wideband 2 module, so it can read. Cigarette burn from some awesome human being out there. Anyways, I don't take the seat off because any of you that own this bike know that the seat is super annoying to get on and off, so trust me, those two modules are in there. So, if you're looking at this video, you might already know and you should already know that an exhaust and an intake are going to make the bike breathe better. It's going to get better air. Compare it to yourself. When you're sick and you have allergies, it's harder for you to do strenuous things like run, exercise, just sometimes take a flight of stairs because your lungs aren't feeling so hot. Same thing goes for the bike. So whenever you're feeling real good and you can breathe like a normal day and there's no allergies, whatever, you're gonna feel much better, be able to run better. The same exact thing goes for a bike. So that's a given right there. I'm not actually making this video for those two products right there. Cold air intake or an intake in general and exhaust. I do that to all my bikes and I feel like um, if you wanna increase performance, always start there. The question I had when I was looking for this was, should I spend what's almost about $600 to get those two DinoJet products, Wideband 2 and the Power Commander 5? So I looked around, I couldn't find any videos saying, hey, this is what I noticed when I made when I made these adjustments, when I made these modifications. This is what happened to me. Uh, I couldn't find any YouTube videos, no blogs that really talked about it. They just kind of talked about what they do. They changed the air-fuel ratio, good. But what's, in layman's term, what can I expect from that? Now I did talk to somebody on the phone actually at a, a specific parts dealer that said, to expect really nothing performance-wise, to expect uh, that it's gonna make the bike run better. And I didn't want to listen to him because I had read a couple of things saying that uh, it, wake, it woke the bike up. That's what I also read one other place too. So that person originally probably was the right one. It didn't really do anything that I noticed performance-wise. The bike is not faster. It is not spunkier or uh, take off the line better. Uh, I think that the bike is just healthier. It's like uh, I cleared up its allergies, basically. It's a good uh, analogy for that. The bike runs healthier, but not performance-wise any better. I think for the long run, it's probably good. I made modifications to this bike. It, the stock ECU is used to doing stock things like stock airflow and stock exhaust. Uh, so it's probably better to change those things for the long run. The bike's going to run a little bit better, but it's not like this beast machine now. And it's a Grom, it never will be, unless you tr strap like a big C uh, big bore kit on it or a turbo, it's gonna be a Grom, which is gonna be fun, but not like a machine that's meant for burning up the roads. So don't expect a lot of these things. I'd say that if you're pinched for cash, but you have enough to play with to buy it, but you're like kind of back and forth on whether or not it's gonna help you out and get a lot of power out of it, I would say save your money, buy something else or save it because um, you're not going to see any power gains out of it. You're just going to have a healthier running bike. Um, Honda engines are good. It'll probably run for decades anyways. This might add tack on or whatever, 10 more years to that. So I'm sure some of you guys will chew me up in the comments here for this, but that's fine. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Other people that have made these modifications, please let me know what happened with yours. Uh, I did reset the ECU, the stock ECU, so it's all learned the new um, air-fuel ratios, and it's changed because they've added the two devices in there. Anyways, um, I really, as normal, appreciate you guys watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to do so. Thanks a lot. Take care.